All day they waited in Hanforth. This corner of Cheshire East had had notice that their parish council soap opera was to be continued. It was, of course, their last meeting back in December when it all kicked off. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. No authority at all. She just kicked him out. I, I, no, just me. no, she's kicked him out. Don't, don't. She's kicked him out. Don't. This is a meeting called by two councillors. Illegally. They now elect a chairman. No, they can't because the vice chair's here. I take charge. Uh, Read the standing orders. Read them and understand them. <gasps> cool head that night was Jackie Weaver, there not as a counsellor but an advisor. She wasn't due to log back on for the sequel and just wants peace to break out. Be kind to each other. I mean, it's not rocket science. But my hope for them is that actually we get to see Hanforth at its best, because it does have a best, you know, talking about local issues for local people. And so at 7pm they logged on. It was open to the public. So the public joined in, but it didn't go well. Could, could I ask you not to interrupt the councillors? I was just... I was the just chairman, Brian, you. struggled to maintain order. Please not interrupt the councillors. Did Jackie Weaver have authority? Maybe it's the effect of lockdown, but this council has actually prompted lots of young people to find out more about how very local politics works. I think initially when I first saw it, I was a little worried. Um, about the, the, the impact it would have, that it would, you know, push young people away because of the adversarial nature of the meeting. But what's been really inspiring to see is how Jackie um, has reframed the conversation and narrative. What we've seen is an increase in young people who have accessed the video through social media, um, now looking at councils as a, as a potential route to engage with democracy. Uh, Back in the meeting, me. it just carried on. I was trying to be helpful. George, shut up. Agreed. Yeah, shut up, George. Can I just say, please, let's respect each other. Then the um, councillors voted to mute the disruptive members of the public so their bickering could continue uninterrupted. No, we need to know. You want cannot... To know that this, you are aware that these minutes cannot be deferred without a vote, Chair. No, I'm not aware of that at all. All right, can I ask that you speak to the proper officer, to the clerk, and ask his opinion? No, you may not. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Cheshire.